Happy Friday, everybody. Uh, just got off work. It is November 20th. Again, it is, look at this, 64 degrees outside again. It's beautiful out. Um, going to be dropping my kids off at my parents' house later tonight. And me and Aaron are going to try and go out and finally do something fun uh, without the gremlins. Uh, but it is technically kind of my Monday because I'm going to be working uh, the next several days straight through to Thanksgiving. So, eh, whatever, make the best of it. So, stick around and we'll show you what we're doing later tonight. And mom and dad have just dropped off the kids. It's time to party. Corona party. Maybe. Um, what about the Weizenbach? The Weizenbach's dark. Nope, take that off the list. Yeah, the fourth half is dark, second half is dark. Cray Cray's light, it's an IPA. Um, Gott's Rye is red, is Furious Fox is black. Yep, nope. Stealth and Shadows is dark, red is red. With the Euphoria, the Farmer's Tassel, the Hella Heffa, and the Circle of Protection are the four light right. ones. So we ended up at the Golden Fox Brewery. Got my flight of beers here. It's a two, five, six, and a ten. Um, if you saw on that previous menu, I got did you pull it up? What's what's two, five, six, and ten? Two is Second Habit. Five would be Furious Fox. Six is Stealth in the Shadows. And ten. Wise move. Wise move. That's right. Mm -hmm. I got. Mine are all dark. I got Cray Cray IPA. It's <laughs> a Poria. Farmer's Tassel. It's a good one. Love it. I know. We do love the. And then we got the Circle of Protection, which is this one. Now, my favorite is the Hella Heifer Horizon. And I love that they do um, all of their own beers here. Yes, they do. They do have a couple of on other. Like, I think they have like one or two that are other ones. But I do love that they do their own beers here. This is a fantastic place to come to for craft beer. Um, we have three craft breweries in Decatur, but uh, obviously during this pandemic, there's it's outdoor seating, and while it's still in the 60s right now and it's raining, we're gonna take advantage. Of cut off there, so we're gonna take advantage of as much time as we can uh, outside of our house because uh, we don't want to be in our house too much. So there's that. So we snuck out of the house tonight without our kids because we really wanted to support the local breweries and this is by far my favorite and they have the best tasting beers and normally the environment is much better inside but we are going to suck it up and master it out. It is pretty cool inside because inside they've got uh, a lot of TVs and music, but they've got a video game machine in there. It's an old school arcade I machine. Later. Uh, well, it's not turned on right now. Though. Oh, okay. well, we could take a video inside maybe later. But this arcade machine has got uh, old school games on it back when I was maybe 9, 10, 11, 12 years old. So I like think the old school Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and the old school Simpsons game that's on the arcade. If any of you guys remember that, leave a comment below and tell me you remember. So I'm going to hold my mask so you can hear me a little bit better. But this is the inside of Golden Box. And they got all of their beers right there. Like I said, it's all locally brewed and it's delicious and it's wonderful. And um, then the arcade games that Chad was talking about earlier, right here. And right here, and so hopefully after this whole COVID pandemic thing opens back up, they got tons of games here. It's a great space to come into indoor outdoor seating, and we really enjoy it here. All right, so my fa one of my favorite bloggers to follow is Prairie Rhodes, who is uh, Chad's aunt. And last night on Sips and Giggles, she played this game called Thirty Days of Thankfulness. And you are going to have like 10 seconds to answer these questions. It's rapid fire, Chad. So you have to say the first thing that comes to your mind. Ooh, okay. All right? So it's who, so the, the, the basically you give the word and it's what you're the most thankful for. Ready? You can't have alcohol in your mouth while you're taking it. Let's go. All right, ready? Who is the person that you're most thankful for? You. Who is the animal you're most thankful for? Um, a cow because I eat a lot of beef. What is your what is the most thankful place you like cozy place that you're most thankful for? A cozy place. Oh, bed. What is your 
most thankful snack? Snacks. I'm a big snacker. Ten seconds. Uh, uh, potato chips. Your most. What place are you most thankful for? Ooh. Um, or three, two. Disney because we're Disney, Disney <laughs> Vacation Club members. What's your most thankful pair of shoes? A pair of shoes? Yeah. Sandals. What about your uh, most thank? What scent are you the most thankful for? <laughs> Family vlog, Chad. Um, fried food. The scent of fried goodness. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what restaurant are you the most thankful for? And this one was a little tricky because with COVID. Take COVID away. What restaurant are you the most thankful for? Wow, that's a really hard one. I know, you only got like 10 seconds. It's quick, rapid fire. Uh, Four, three, two, Chipotle. one. Okay, what time of day are you the most thankful for? Um, the time of day where we eat. Okay, it's Aaron's turn, so. This is, this is partially not fair because I did it last night on the on the vlog. Yeah, but our, it, our viewers don't know that. Okay, fine. So this I'll is try for our viewers. I'll try to remember some of my answers. All right, favorite person? Chad. Favorite animal? A cow, because we love cows and we love to eat. Uh, favorite cozy place? The couch. Favorite snack? It's not favorite, you're supposed to say thankful for. Okay, thankful for. I am most thankful when we have um, turkey in the fridge that I can pick off and eat. Okay. Um, the thankful place? Place? Place. My house. Okay. Uh, thankful pair of shoes? My slippers. Oh my god, I love them. How about scent? Fresh mowed grass. It is like the most amazing smell of the world. Yeah, because you don't do it. I totally don't do it. Okay. <laughs> Thankful restaurant. McDonald's for their unsweet tea because it's really good. <laughs> All right. Time of day. In the morning. Right before the kids wake up and I'm all by myself. Guys, you know what we just did? We just closed down the bar. We closed it down, you we know? We did not close it down. It's not 7 o'clock yet. Um, yeah, it's 7 o'clock. We closed, yeah, because it's 7 o'clock. We didn't close down a bar because it's 2 a.m. We closed down a bar because it's 7, it's 7 p.m. It's 6.41. It's 7 p.m. We closed down a bar, but that's what you get during COVID restrictions. We closed down a bar. At 7 p.m. Oh, we are rock stars. <laughs> Guys, we have officially made it to happy hour. <laughs> it's close enough to happy hour because we closed down a bar. No, we're at, we're at dinner. We're going to enjoy it because we don't have kids. 7.01. Yeah, so happy hour dinner. We closed down one bar. Not closed down a bar. Quarantine closing is not closed down a bar. We're at the next bar. This is awesome. All right, guys, it's chow time. Jumbo tenderloin, bigger than the bun. Obviously, it's going to be good. Western burger. Western burger with some deep fried cauliflower. What are you doing? I caught you in the act. <laughs> I'm really sad because I think I ate all the Hershey's out of here. Those are my favorite candies, and I think there's only two left. Caught red handed. Mom tax. No, there's no mom tax. It's dad tax. Well, it doesn't matter because there's only two of them left in this entire box. So that's it for this evening. Um, a good night without the kids. Um, supporting local businesses. Supporting local businesses. We don't know when we'll go without the kids again because we don't get that very often. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. And remember, don't feed your gremlins. Beer. Yeah, don't feed your gremlins beer after midnight.